There we go, guys. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I got kicked from the server. Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I just spotted something that we have been trying to find for a little while now, but I don't know where he went. I'm gonna have to chase him down and see if we can find him. Okay, there we go. There is the track from him. So, as you guys can probably figure out now by the track, I spotted a level 5 chamois, and I went to struggle to get the uh, recording software up, and by the time I got OBS up, it was already out of view, but we're gonna track this guy down and get him on the ground. I am so excited. I've been trying to get one of these for so long, and now we finally have a chance to try and take one down. The last level 5 we found was a troll, so... Hopefully it won't be the same case here. I I sure hope not. It would be really sad if we got two trolls in a row. But anyway, while we're chasing this guy down, today is actually going to be a highlight video for some of the recent kills that we got on some of the live streams. We've got a lot of really cool stuff recently, and well, I wanted to start with just like a couple good chamois kills to kind of open this up since one of the cool trophies that we have to show off today actually is a chamois that we got during one of the live streams from two or three days ago and this was the first time I had ever seen an albino chamois so I'm very excited to show that off to you guys along with some other trophies like a uh, diamond bathiti and a melanistic mouflon and stuff like that but yeah I just happened to run across this guy as I was about to do the intro so that's actually really awesome I think I might have just seen him I think it's one of these. There he is. There's the level five. Now it's just gonna be a matter of getting him into a good spot where we can take a clean shot. I don't wanna risk messing this guy up since it's taken us so long to find one. Honestly, this wind is not in our favor, but we did finally catch up to them. Now it's just a matter of figuring out which one is him. And yeah, they are starting to flee off again. The wind is definitely not doing us a favor at the moment. And I can't even see the one that we were after. So yeah, it's a little unfortunate. We're gonna have to maybe hopefully find a better clearing. One where the wind isn't completely screwing us over. So we'll see what we can do. There he is. Finally got eyes on him again. I don't know when he's gonna calm down though. That's the only issue here. Is when are we gonna get him to calm down? We're in a much better spot though now. This is much better location to have him at. Cause at least now we have the water in the way so there's a good chance he won't be able to run too far. Okay guys, there we go. So I ended up resetting the time and now we've got this guy back right where we need him. Let's get his attention and get him on the ground. I am so excited to finally get to put a shot into this guy. He is, however, in a spot where I can't spot him. There we go. Once he goes broadside, we should be able to get a shot into him. Here we go. Or not. <laughs> you know, I figured <laughs> we might as well just try the front shot. I don't think he was gonna give us anything better than that so I decided to take it and I guess it worked out so that's nice hopefully this guy will actually be a diamond and not a troll like the last one there he is and I think this is the color that I wanted too so that's awesome this is the fur type I was trying to get absolutely awesome what a beautiful looking chamois now for the moment of truth is this guy a diamond? It is 5970 Diamond Chamois. Finally completed our mission of getting a diamond one. And it's a good bit over diamond too. 
59.70. What a beautiful looking chamois. And one of the colors that I really like. That is perfect. And it's honestly going to go perfectly with the last animal that we're going to be showing off in today's video. But anyway, now that we've got this guy down, let's jump straight into the clips from the live streams because we got quite a bit to get through. Well, the first uh, good thing of the stream is a female light brown turkey. Um, we're going to have to try and get closer to this thing. Although, I can probably hit 300 meters. I think I can hit 300. I think 300 is the first dot. Okay, it's alerted now. We at least got it to stop. Alright, so this turkey right here is now going calm, so we should be able to sneak up on it and get a good shot. And in fact, this is about perfect right here. I think... Yeah, we should be able to make this. We're zeroed for 150. It's like 170 away. There we go. We got a shot into it. So that's pretty awesome. Our first good kill of the day is a light brown turkey. I actually don't know if we needed a female one for a multi-mount or not, but we at least got it. So that is pretty cool. All right. Well, here is our little turkey. It died in an interesting pose. Um, well then, <laughs> I got to say, I kind of like the way it died though. <laughs> oh man. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and claim this little one. 3.10 light brown turkey. Not too bad. Can always use more turkeys as little filler trophies to toss up on the wall. So, yeah. Not bad at all. There we go. That's probably going to be a troll, but... <laughs> there we go. That is a level 5 feral goat. I think this definitely has a better chance at being diamond than some of the ones that we've killed in the past. I mean, that estimate is much larger. And its horns look a little bit better, so... We might get lucky here. We might actually get lucky. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm kind of confused. What We didn't hit a tree because there was no tree there. The tree was like a little ways to the right. Is the hitbox for the tree that big, guys? There we go. There we go. We got it. We made up for that first shot. I still don't understand what happened there. Looked like it was behind a tree. Maybe. I mean... From what I could see, it looked like the tree was to the right a little bit. I don't think I hit a tree, but I mean, I guess I could have. Alright, let's claim it before we get kicked. No! Again! But that one looked really good! I mean, look at that! It's not pointing straight up! This one... What? How is that not a diamond? I am actually really shocked that this one's a troll. Wow! This looks almost identical to my uh, 215 that I got during the early access. That's crazy. Uh, is it asymmetrical? No, it's perfectly even. I really had high hopes for this one. I really thought it was going to be a diamond. Well, I mean, guess we'll tax him as a placeholder. That right there is a melanistic mouflon. Level 4. At that. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That is insane, guys. A level 4 melanistic mouflon. I kind of want to get a little bit closer before committing to a shot. I don't want to screw this guy up. Bought all these other ones just to make... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. And a level 5 Bathidi Ibex. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're right next to each other. If I can... If I can... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. If I can get them down next to each other, we got a chance at an insane looking picture. Oh man, he doesn't... He does not want to cooperate. 
I guess we're gonna take out the melanistic one first then. Unless he can just give us a shot really soon. But he's being very, very stubborn. This guy's being extremely stubborn. Well, since the Melamouflon has already ran, we'll wait for him to come back. Let's do the 22 trick again in hopes of getting this guy in a good spot. There we go, guys. We got him down. We got him down. I don't see the Melanistic over here yet, so... We're probably gonna have to chase after him, but we got the diamond down at least. That's crazy. We hadn't found a diamond all day, and then it's right next to a Melanistic. That's insane. That is insane. What a return to Quattro Kalinas. Last time we went to Quattro, we got pretty much nothing. So that's awesome. Alright, here is the Melanistic Mouflon. You know, for this one right here. Let's go to the Argus, just so we can get a closer look at it. My gosh, that is an awesome looking trophy. Look at that beauty. And there it is. We got it down. Melanistic Mouflon. That's a pretty big Mouflon too. Like, I'm happy with the size of this guy. I have a big Albino in one of my old lodges, but I've never got a big Melanistic. I've had like a smaller melanistic one, but never one of this size. That is awesome. That is truly awesome, guys. Well, let's go ahead and claim it. 156 gold melanistic. Wow, that is awesome. That is actually pretty awesome. Super, super excited about that. Now we just need to get some wolves for the multi-mount, and we will be golden. In fact, I think that's going to be a goal for the near future, is go for some wolves so we can actually make a multi-mount out of this guy. Alright, let's check this guy out. What a giant. I think it's slightly asymmetrical too, it seems like this horn curves a little bit more. I don't think it'll be a troll. They don't troll very often. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a troll for them. Pretty sure all of them have been diamonds from the ones I've seen. 198.30. So it's a pretty average one when it comes to the size. But either way, that's a beauty right there. And I think this is the first Bathidi Ibex that we have found for the current lodge that we're in. I have seen a couple people get ones over 200, so I was really hoping for this to be a 200, but... Unfortunately, it wasn't, but either way, that is awesome. They exist! Oh my gosh, they're real! What? You can get albino! Honestly, I don't care if we screw it up. This is multiplayer, so I just want to get it down. Oh my gosh, that's a real thing? What? I've never seen anybody post one of these. Oh my gosh, guys. That's insane. Did we just get the first albino chamois? <laughs> uh, it's so great my voice cracked. Oh my gosh. We did. We got vitals. Oh my gosh. That's insane, guys. I can't believe that. I honestly did not think that Albino Chamois existed. I guess I was wrong. Because that's definitely not a Leucistic. Let's get it claimed. Albino Chamois. 38 on the score. Wow, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. We finally got a true rare for a Chamois. In the first multiplayer server that we join. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's insane. Holy. Oh my gosh. I really want to get a big male one now. We really got to get a male albino. That would look so good. I was honestly convinced that 
Leucistic and Melanistic were the only other fur variations for Shammy, and that they were bugged, but it looks like there really is albino. All right, everybody, now that you have seen all of the clips, here is that diamond Shammy. Now, I, I don't know if this is going to be the final place that I put him. I'm kind of still debating on where I want to put things in this lodge. And also, I've kind of been debating on just putting all of my best trophies in one lodge. That way, we have kind of like an ultimate lodge. And then all of the stuff that doesn't quite make it into the ultimate one will go into these uh, backup lodges. So that's kind of what I've been thinking of doing. Let me know what you guys think of that idea down in the comments below. But yeah, this is the Diamond Chamois 59.7, a very good sized diamond. And I'm really happy that we managed to get one of the fur types that I really like. Now, I believe there's two different fur types that I, that I really like and this was probably the lesser of the two, but still really awesome to get. Then right here is the Melanistic Mouflon. I'm still very, very happy that this was a big one. Now, we got an albino level four probably almost a year ago at this point because it was towards the beginning of when I actually started doing streaming. So it's been a long time since I've had a big rare Mouflon. So that was really awesome to find. And the fact that it was right next to a giant Bathidi Ibex made it even better. And we're gonna find where I put that guy and take a look at him in a moment, but this little leucistic, or uh, not a leucistic, but albino chamois is probably one of the cooler things that I have seen since the release of T. Awaroa. I honestly didn't know that these things even existed for the longest time. I thought that they only had leucistic and melanistic as the kind of uncommon rare fur types, but it looks like albino is a thing, and man, they look absolutely amazing. I am super, super happy that we actually managed to find one of these, and it was even the first multiplayer server we joined that day, so that made it even better. That right there is our Bathidi Ibex, and I'm really liking the way this room is shaping up. Last time that we were in here, I was kind of like not exactly certain what I wanted to do with this room going forward, what type of stuff I wanted to add in here, but I gotta say, I'm really, really liking the way it's looking. I think it's going to look even better once we start getting rid of some of these troll Sika deer and uh, these level 8 red deer and replace them with some of the uh, larger trophies, some diamonds, maybe some rares if we can get any, and uh, hopefully some more actual diamond goats would be an awesome addition to this, but also I believe, mm, actually it's not this one, but we do have a light brown turkey to show off and I believe it's in front. And there it is. There is the light brown turkey female. Unfortunately, it was just a female, but I mean, either way, still pretty cool. I do love the way the light brown turkeys look. I wish they were a little bit more rare, but either way, they're really good space fillers. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video, but we're going to go ahead and end it there. It was a lot of fun getting all of these trophies for this video. I gotta say, it's been one of the best weeks of streaming we've had in quite a while. We've got some of the coolest trophies that we've seen in probably the past couple months, and I honestly just am super, super excited at some of the things that we've been able to accomplish and add to our lodge. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of the crazy support. And yeah, if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post daily videos along with five live streams a week. And also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button because it's a massive help in getting these videos recommended to more people. And that's the best way to help the channel grow. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video.